All right. There are two ways to find out if a binomial is a factor of a polynomial. One of those ways, basically it's division. If I said, is 6 a factor of 24? Well, you would just divide 24 by 6. And if it goes in without any decimal, um, you get an integer answer. Um, and I do. When I divide 24 by 6, I get 4. So yes, 6 is a factor. Is 7 a factor of 24? No, because I get 3.4, uh, 3, 3 something like that. Um, and so the answer would be no, it's not a factor. So if I ask, is x minus 2 a factor? Then what I'm going to need to do is divide, just like with 24 and 6. The problem is it's not quite as easy to divide polynomials. There's two ways to do division. One is long division, just like you did back in elementary school. It's not fun. It's very strange looking. Um, and I've shown it in class, but I'm not going to worry about it further than that. Most of the time, 90, 95% of the time, unless you are specifically asked to show long division, we're going to mainly use synthetic division. So that's why I'm just going to go over that right now. Now, my question is, is uh, what is x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 2 divided by x minus 2? Synthetic division is very weird. It utilizes the fact, or, or just the coefficients. It leaves all the variables out of the problem until the very end, and then it puts them back in. But right now, we're just going to focus on all of the coefficients, numbers only. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. And it's a strange way, but it's a backwards L, kind of like a little box, half a box. And then we're going to draw a line. Up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the coefficients of my polynomial. The first coefficient is a 1, 5, negative 7, be careful to make sure you have the sign with it, and a positive 2. Now, we have to figure out what goes in the box. It's based on the concept that if x minus 2 was a factor, that would mean that positive 2 would have been a solution. We're putting that potential solution in the box. So in other words, change the sign. x minus 2 in the box, I'm going to put positive 2. Now, the very first number will come straight down. Okay? And we're going to bring that down and put that right here. Now, all I have to do from here out is multiply and add. Multiply and add. 2 times 1 is 2. Add them and get 7. 2 times 7 is 14. Write it here. Add them and get another 7. 2 times 7 is 14. Add them, and I get 16. Well, I have a bunch of numbers, and they actually mean something. When I divide an x, here I'll put it over here, an x to the third by an x, what do I have left? I have an x to the second. So these are, remember, coefficients of a polynomial that's going to start with an x to the second. In other words, just go down one. So I started with an x cubed. This is the coefficient of my x to the second. 1x to the second plus 7x to the first plus a 7. And this last number is always your remainder. Now, if you recall, before you learned about decimals, when you did division, all you did was you looked for the remainder. Since the remainder is not 0, then no, it's not a factor. But x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 2 divided by x minus 2 is x squared plus 7x plus 7, remainder 16. All right, let's try this again real quick. I'll use pink. 3x cubed minus 4x squared minus 28x minus 16 divided by x plus 2. I'm going to make my box, draw my line. What goes in the box? Change the sign. Negative 2. All right. My coefficients are 3, negative 4, negative 28, and a negative 16. 
the first number comes straight down. I strongly recommend you draw that arrow so that you block that space and don't put something there that doesn't belong there. So I'm going to bring three down and write it here. Here we go. Start multiplying and adding. Negative two times three is negative six. Add and get negative ten. Negative two times negative ten is a positive twenty. Add and get negative eight. Negative two times negative eight is a positive sixteen. Uh-oh. Add and get zero. Zero is my remainder, remember? So that's a good thing. That means that x plus two is a factor. But besides that, what do I get when I divide by x plus two? I get, I started with an x cubed, so my answer is an x squared. Three x squared minus 10 x minus eight. If you want, you can write remainder zero, but you don't have to. And finally, Let's do one more because I need to make a point on this one. Negative three goes in the box. When I write my coefficients, I have to be careful not to miss something. Do you see that something is missing? I don't have an x squared, whoop, wrong one, x squared term. It's missing. So I have a one x cubed. I have zero x squared. You must fill the missing spot with a zero. Negative four and six. Bring down the one, and let's go. Negative one times, negative three times one is negative three, and add. Negative three times negative three is nine, and add. Negative three times five is negative 15, and add, and there we go. What does that mean? I started again with an x cubed. I need to give you an extra, the fourth next time. Um, that means my answer is an x squared, so that's a 1x squared minus 3x plus 5. The last number is always the remainder of negative 9. And there you go. That is synthetic division. Hope that helps. Bye.